Hey everybody, welcome back to another Oxygen tutorial video. My name is Jonathan, and today what I'm going to do is show you how to add infinite scroll to your easy post element in Oxygen. So on your screen here, I have basically six posts loaded, and instead of requiring a user to click a next page button, what we can do is have this button that says load more, like I'm sure you've seen across the internet, and it just loads more. So this can keep going, and we can also set it up to where it's automatic upon scroll where the next set of posts load, so you don't have to use the button. So the first thing I'm going to do is switch over to my WordPress backend. So on this site right now, I have two plugins. It is code snippets to have a little administrative change that has nothing to do with this tutorial, and then Oxygen. And so really all you need to start off with is Oxygen. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to the Infinite Scroll website. It's infinite-scroll.com, and then just go ahead and click on the download infinite scroll min.js package. It'll download just like any other file on your computer. The next thing you're going to need is a plugin from Sridhar with WP Dev Design called My Custom Functionality, and this is how we're going to get WordPress to effectively load this infinite scroll JavaScript file. So you can find a link to both of these websites and where this tutorial actually originated from, which is SupaMic with Oxygen for Fun. All of these links will be in the description, but you'll want to come here to this GitHub link for my custom functionality and come over here to the clone or download button and choose download zip file. That will download the my custom functionality plugin, which you need to continue in this tutorial. So now what I'm going to do is once again, go back to my WordPress admin dashboard. Now from here, we're basically going to add the My Custom Functionality plugin. So start by clicking Add New, go to Upload Plugin, and then choose the file from your computer. So there it is, My Custom Functionality. Go ahead and click on Install Now, and then just activate the plugin. That's all you need to do for the moment for My Custom Functionality, but we're actually going to go ahead and add in another plugin, which is basically a WordPress file manager. Now, if you're comfortable with FTP, you can go to your site's FTP folders and browse in the same way that we're going to do with the WordPress file manager plugin, but you can do this in the WordPress admin dashboard. So let's go ahead and click on Add New Plugin again. This time we're actually going to search. This is just going to be called WP File Manager. And then the one we're going to choose here is this first one. We're going to install this and activate this plugin as well. So now you'll see there's a new option down here that says WP File Manager. Go ahead and click on that. And then I'm going to close out of this introduction window. And what we're going to do is basically browse to our plugins folder. So we're going to go WP Content, Plugins, My Custom Functionality Master, go to Assets, JS, and then we're going to upload the JavaScript file that we downloaded from the Infinite Scroll website. So basically just take this Infinite Scroll package, upload that to this folder, and that's all you need to do for the moment. Now what you need to do is click the My Custom Functionality folder here, go to plugin.php, and you can right click it, and then choose Code Editor. From here, there's a bunch of content in here. Basically, you just want to scroll down until you find this option that says Add Action WP and Q Scripts. And then what you can do is more or less just add some extra spacing here. So around line 33 or 34, just add some extra spacing. And then we're going to paste in a script. And now we're basically going to paste in the code that's going to enqueue the JS file. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste in this here. It's on my clipboard. Again, you can find the link to that, which is on the Oxygen for Fun website in this video's description. Once you have that pasted in the plugin.php, just choose Save and Close. So just to summarize quickly what we've done so far, we've added the My Custom Functionality plugin. We've taken the infinite scroll JS file and put that inside of the plugin. And then we added a line of code to the My Custom Functionality plugin.php to basically enqueue the infinite scroll code for us. And now there's one other thing we want to do before we actually get into the Oxygen Editor. And that is go to your WordPress settings and choose the reading option. And in this option here that says blog pages show at most, this is where you can configure how many sets of posts you want the easy post element to load at one time. So in the example I showed you at the start of this video, I had this set to six, but you can change it to whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead and leave this set at six again, and I'm going to save these changes. 
Now what I can do is go to my pages and we can basically add the easy post element in. So under my infinite scroll page, I'm gonna click on edit and then choose the edit with oxygen button. So in this section, I'm gonna add in an easy post element. The first thing I'm gonna do is change the query type to custom and go to the post type option. Click in this field and just choose post. Click on apply query parameters and it's gonna load in the posts that we have on the site here. I'm gonna go ahead and change the easy post template to something like grid image with title overlay. And then under the query option, go to count and make sure that your settings look like this. So leave the option that says how many posts all unchecked. You can choose the ignore sticky posts and then don't specify a number of posts to load here. Now what I'm gonna do is add in a button element and that's gonna put it below our easy posts. With this button, we wanna add the class called view more button. And then you could change the text of the button to say something like load more posts. And then underneath this button, we're gonna add in a code block. Once again, the JavaScript code that you need, you can pull from the links in the description below from the Oxygen for Fun website. The first thing you might wanna do is go to the PHP tab and comment out this PHP by adding two forward slashes like that and then go back to the JavaScript tab and then we're basically going to paste in the code that's going to allow our load more post button to actually function. Go ahead and click on apply code. And then another thing you can do is in your code block, go to advanced layout and set this to display none. So the code still loads on the page, but it's not visible to a regular user. Now what we can do is click on save, go to the front end and let's take a look and test our infinite scroll. So if we click on load more, there's the rest of our post loading. You can do this one more time with the amount of posts we have on our site, and there you go. So now you can see the load more option works. Now the other thing you might wanna do is set it up to where the posts automatically load when you get to the bottom of the available list. Instead of having to click the button, it just basically loads in there for you, which we can definitely do. So we'll return to the oxygen editor. We can actually go ahead and delete this button here. And then I'm gonna open my structure pane to get back to the code block we were working with earlier. And in this JavaScript, let's go ahead and delete this function and we're gonna add another one. This function looks pretty similar to the other one we just had on the page. Click on apply code, choose the save option. And then on the front end over here, let's refresh. And now when we scroll down, our posts are gonna automatically populate in. So there is the infinite scroll and the two possibilities with the easy post element, either the automatic load on scroll or you can click the load more button. So the infinite scroll that we've demonstrated here is not terribly difficult to add and it's gonna add a nice visual element to your site, especially if you have lots of posts or pages on your site. Thank you so much for watching this video. I also have a channel here on YouTube called Permaslug. You can find that at youtube.com permaslug and I'll look forward to seeing you there.